But first, on the way into the big tax plan announcement, our own Pete Hegseth said, excuse me, Mr. President, could I have a word with you? And he said, sure, Pete, what is it? And he, he said, I got like three or four questions. The first question was about the national anthem protests. And what did the president say? Well, just watch. You have certainly started a national conversation this week, Mr. President, on the NFL. You say the NFL situation is a very important situation. Your critics say it's been a distraction, but you say it's critical. You talk about words like patriotism and citizenship. Why is this such an important issue for well, you? Well, it is an important issue. It's not a distraction at all because, you know, first of all, I'm doing a lot. As you know, we've passed over 50 pieces of legislation. We have a Supreme Court judge. We have a much stronger military. We have strong borders now. We're going to get the wall. We're going to get all the things that we said. And now we're going, as you know, today is the big day. We're announcing the biggest tax cuts in the history of our country. So there's been no distraction. But uh, the NFL cannot disrespect our country. They cannot disrespect our flag or our national anthem. And they can't have people sitting down or kneeling down during our national anthem. And I saw this a year ago with Kaepernick, and I said, this is a terrible thing. I thought it was terrible. And then it builds up a little bit and a little bit more, and you see what's been happening, and then all of a sudden you see more and more and more. And I came out, and I made a statement in Alabama the other day, and I said, I think it's very disrespectful to our country. And the world picked it up. And guess what? Most people agree with me. And the NFL's in a box. They have to do something about it. They're disrespecting, and when I say they, in a way it is they because they can stop it. You know, they have rules for everything. You can't dance in the end zone. You can't wear the pink socks relative to mm -hmm. breast cancer, which is one of the places. They have rules for everything. Why aren't they honoring this country by enforcing a rule that's been in existence for a long time? So the NFL and the players really have to do the honor of the country. It's for the honor of the country. They have to respect our country. They have to respect our flag and our anthem. What prompted that in Alabama? Well, I have so many friends that are owners, and they're in a box. I mean, I've spoken to a couple of them. They say, we are in a situation where we have to do something. I think they're afraid of their players. You want to know the truth, and I think it's disgraceful. And they've got to be tough, and they've got to be smart, because you look at the ratings, the ratings are going way down. The stadiums are... I've, I've seen a couple of stadiums over the last few weeks. They are losing. There are a lot of empty seats. I couldn't even believe it. But when it comes to the respect of our nation, when it comes to the respect of our anthem and our flag, they have no choice. You have to have people stand with respect. Well, right now the TV ratings are down year to year, and last year was down. Keep in mind, by far the most popular league in the country, but they are down 11 percent. And you wonder what's going to happen because we're seeing all these things on social media with people burning their apparel, mm -hmm. their paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. I never remember that happened. Maybe if your team lost four games in a row, they'll wear bags over their heads, but they usually still show up. But now we're seeing some people feeling as though they have to make a choice, patriotism or football. I, I, you know, that's where we're at right now. Yeah, and the president said, look, most of the country agrees with me. A new Fox News poll came out last night mm -hmm. and showed just that. 55% say that it's inappropriate to be kneeling during the national anthem. I, I love these interviews with President Trump because he's off script and he, he gives us a sense sure. of conversations that he has behind closed doors where he's like, look, I've talked to some of these owners. They tell me that they are in a really tough position. They're in a box. And he said at one point that they are afraid, he thinks, of the players. That's sure. a comma that you would not hear from a president ever. But he lets us no know kidding. the real conversations that are had, the important conversations that we probably need to hear more about. Donald Trump being Donald Trump. Uh, the next big uh, question mark in the NFL is what are they going to do tonight at the Packers Bears game? Uh, in Green Bay, apparently the fans have been asked to lock arms in a moment of unification. Don't know unification of what, but nonetheless, that's what the Packers are going to do. Apparently, they don't know what the Bears are going to do. Right. The, uh, the Cowboys apparently going to stand in the next game, and so will the Patriots.